Hey, James Wise with Holden Wise. Right now, I'm headed out to meet my business partner, John Holden, at one of our renovation projects. This is a house we are flipping. We're anticipated to make $80,000 on this thing. We already pumped out two episodes. The first was me going over the financials. The second was John and I going over the, uh, the very beginning of the renovation project. I haven't been to the house since that episode has launched. I'm going out there to check it out, see where John and the crew are at. John wants to talk about a few options. I believe he wants to make the bathroom a little bit bigger, so we're going to check that out. Wow! Oh my god, this thing looks totally different. This is crazy. Holy <laughs> Oh, wow. It's like, uh... You can't even tell it's the same house. Yeah, it smells a little better too. It does. The original kitchen wall, I believe her fridge was like here. The sink was like here, right? Sink was under the window. This window? Correct. Okay, so the sink was here. All right, so, so tell me what's happening. This load bearing wall will get removed and uh, three uh, two by twelves with uh, two pieces of steel sandwiched between them will get sloped into the ceiling flush with the floor joist at, at the top and it'll hang down in the room a little bit. It'll be down to about this point right here. The cost is expensive because you have to build a wall here, you have to build a wall here, and you have to remove this wall, and then you have to lift, you know, heavy ass beam up into the ceiling and joisting everything into it. Okay. And then you also can't run plumbing or electrical or anything through the beam because there's steel in it and it's a low point. Okay. But then there's gonna be a post put somewhere in this neighborhood on this existing footer. This post will remain, peninsula runs to this point, 45s, and then runs back somewhere over in that neighborhood. Slide this over, maybe make the island a little bigger, because we have that hood, and then a big uh, peninsula. We allowed ourselves to keep everything totally open here. So we literally have a complete sight line from dining room into the kitchen, and then I still have a sight line that is gonna be clear all the way to the huge, large, L-shaped uh, great room. So like, we literally, great room, kitchen, dining room. Three different living spaces and we're gonna create a direct sight line to all of it. You could theoretically see out your front window from your backyard with the new layout we've produced here, which is why we are gonna get top dollar for this property. So, being that we're in this concrete slab floor, what's all gonna be entailed with moving all of our plumbing? We got a saw cut all the concrete. You can see some of it's already marked out. So you're cutting over here too? Yeah, jackhammer up the floor. Yeah, there's uh What are we cutting for here? What's going on? The here? laundry closet, so we're gonna put a floor drain in in case there's ever an issue. Um, the hot water, the tankless hot water tank or heater is going up there. Um, there's a half bath here where this wall is, and there's a full bath here. We have to bring water into the house because right now the water's in the garage. So the main's there, so we also have to trench this out and trough it. Probably replace the sewer at this point too, since we're already busting up the floor. Get the main water valve into that laundry closet, and then report concrete here. How come all that's black? Well, it, when fiberglass insulation has air moving through it, it acts like a filter. So this is all like dust that's been filtered out. So if you ever see it anywhere in like your house, it's not. So mold, is this, it's is dust. This, is this dangerous? See the dust coming out? Is this dangerous? Ah, oh, we're gonna remove it. It's not ideal. Okay. There used to be a chimney here. Okay. So that could be shipped from the chimney. There was a couple flues coming in here. Mm -hmm. um, but this is all from caused by airflow. So it wasn't probably sealed from the other side. So air was flowing through this cavity. Okay. Cool. This is a totally different house. I remember. This is where you were standing, almost got your head cut off by that fan. That was where the huge concrete chimney was, right? Yep, right over there was a huge mantle and fireplace. It was all involved in removing a big ass chimney like that. I've never seen a project where someone removed a huge chimney. What did we do? Just smashing it from the top down and filling it, or throwing it in the dump truck. That's all it is. Okay. So then this room, which was, if I recall, this was like some freaking weird hodgepodge crazy little unusable room that was half taken up by the chimney and like you had to access it through the laundry room. Mm -hmm. We are doing what with this room now? 
This is gonna be like a first floor owner suite or mother in law suite. Okay, so this is a big, huge bedroom. Yeah. Is it gonna have access to that bathroom directly from here, yeah, like this, a Jack and Jill kind of thing? Well, no. This there's a wall here, and it's not framed because we have to cut the floor up. Okay. So there's a wall here, so that's a full bath, and this is a half bath to service the first floor. Okay, so we've actually taken this property to four bathrooms. Then we have a full bathroom in the master. We have a second master suite right here, which we're standing in. I'm in the bedroom. John is in the master bath. And then over here, this is not going to be the same bathroom. There will be a wall here. This is the half bath or the powder room for the main floor. So we now have a five bedroom, three full bathroom, and one half bath house. All right, cool. Let's go upstairs. So more or less, we pretty much kept all this. This is like the one area of the house we didn't really do much to, right? You're just This is pretty much just a cosmetic thing over on this end of the house. Well, you're gonna get new windows. Uh, the furnace is getting relocated up into the attic since there used to be boiler, uh, hot water heat in here. So we can add air conditioning with the forced air system. Also, we had to open up some of these walls, as you see, so we can run ducting down to the first floor level uh, for the rooms below here. Since there's now gonna be a beam in the first floor right here. This bathroom right here is going to relatively remain the same. Just updating some fixtures, getting the texture off the wall. This is where all the changes happen. Whoa! On the floor. Oh man! This is totally wild, dude. I can't even. It's like we're not even in the same house, bro. I can't even. Where do we get all the space? We added this addition here. Remember there used to be a sliding door right here? Yeah, this is that crazy porch. The craziest porch. We let you guys, you know, help us out with that. We said, what do we do? Do we do porch or do we do closet? You guys have spoken. Closet has one. And, you know, originally I thought the porch would be cool, John, but you wanted to do the closet. And, man, now that I see it, I am glad we did a closet. This is gigantic. So I am in one half of the closet, right? So this would literally just be like the her section of the closet, and then over here would be the his. Well, actually this one's bigger, so this would probably be the his, or the hers, and your would be standing in the his, right? They're probably gonna be her, her, and then his will be like a closet over in one of the other rooms. <laughs> We're standing in the old master bath. The old master bath had a small vanity, a toilet, and this was the shower. It was a tub. So we stole the old master closet and we were gonna add on and make it one uh, large master bath. The original layout called for, I believe, the vanity on this wall with a double sink. There is gonna be a toilet here and then the shower starts somewhere in here. It's gonna be an all tile, tile shower with one shower head. But we originally changed the uh, closet layout because we were originally just gonna stud up a wall where the porch was and a wall over here where the porch was. Okay. We decided, hey, we're gonna do all the work anyways. Why not make it look like the addition always was here, always belonged, we'll frame it, we'll just continue. So from the outside, that's why right. we have a consistent roof line. Correct. Okay. Because it was going to make like a goofy transition and doors are going to be short, it was going to look stupid. Okay. And it, it doesn't really cost that much money. By the time you start framing, you know, add a couple feet doesn't make a difference. Okay, so now our closet space ended up literally doubling from what right. we originally anticipated. Correct. So, that being said, now we have a gigantic closet, so we're like, hey, let's make the master bathroom a little bit bigger. So we're gonna make, we're gonna steal about four feet out of this closet, which will obviously make it to his closet, and then <laughs> bring it over here, and then create a monstrous walk-in shower. Double shower heads shooting down that way. We'll be able to swing the double bowl vanity and stick it on this wall, and that gives us a lot more space. We'll be able to put the toilet here, shift this doorway over a little bit. Build a little screen wall so you have to kind of walk back around. So, you know, if you you don't when you open the door you don't see the commode. Man, John, this is pretty sweet. I like this. I think that was a really good idea doing that. Uh, I've been doing this with you a long time, but I'm not really that involved in the construction end of this. But man, we have gone above and beyond on this one. This is even more than I originally anticipated. And that's why you guys need to subscribe to this channel. We are trying to peel back the layers on what really happens when you're renovating a house. It's not like it always is on HGTV where you take a house, you throw a little bit of paint, some flooring, and then you make $100,000. 
Our goal is to set the bar in this city and make $80,000. But you don't make $80,000 just by doing some paint and some flooring. As you guys can see, this project has taken several months to get this far. We've completely removed walls. We're digging into concrete. We're adding extensions on the houses. This is not the easiest business, but if you are willing to work hard and put in the effort, tons of money can be made. And that's what this channel is all about. We are about showing you how to make money investing in real estate. So we are putting out investment deals every single day at 1 p.m. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and our email list to see those. On top of that, we are giving out free educational content like this series for any and everyone to see. If you want to go out there and get dirty and do the work yourself, awesome. This channel is here to help you. If you have questions on how to do something, check out the Ask James Wise series. I answer any and all questions related to real estate investment. If your question isn't in our content already, Go ahead and drop your question in the comments of that video using the hashtag AskJamesWise and we'll make a video just like this one answering your specific questions. As always, I'm James Wise, this is John Holton, real estate investing made easy. I thought that was a statement, not a question. <laughs> Tommy, get in the house. Wait, that's good. You see that point? That's a good point. Here, John, stay right behind me. Okay, John, are these live? Yep. Are these live? Yeah. Will I really burn me? No. You gotta touch the bare wire. This is insulation. Tommy, bite this real quick. <laughs> I'm shit. Right. Joanna. So I gotta stand a little closer? No, no, stand where you are. We will be able to answer any and all. Those hurt when you kick them, just so you know.